Good morning to all my brothers and sisters out yonder. Hey, had an appointment this morning with an, a cash buyer to see my house. I, my realtor called me late yesterday and told me, so I was up late last night cleaning again. This place is not dirty. I just have to prep it, get it ready for a buyer to come look at and got up early this morning to do some more stuff you know get the carpet vacuum where you can see the design in the carpet and the nap of the carpet anyway everything was looking pretty and all ready and everything my realtor called and that prospective buyer canceled something came up and they said they would reschedule so I did all that work last night and this morning for nothing, except for me to sit here and look at a pretty house, which I already bought, so. Uh, and then I got ready to make my video and thought, you know, I'm starving. And so I fixed breakfast and ate breakfast, so that's why I'm kind of dragging butt a little bit today. But I'm here, so here we go, y'all, <coughs> as we continue to read through the Bible together in 2023, we resume today in 2 Kings, starting with chapter 6. So hang on just a second. All righty, y'all. 2 Kings, chapter 6. And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold, now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. <clears throat> so he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to thee, and he put it out, and he put out his hand and took it. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. <coughs> and the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of, and saved him there not once nor twice, Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel, the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. <coughs> Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. 
And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city, both with horses and with chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, <clears throat> Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the eyes, and the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. And it came to pass when they were coming to Samaria that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes and they saw. And behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. And the king of Israel said unto Elisha, when he saw them, my father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he answered, Thou shalt not smite them. Wouldst thou smite those <clears throat> whom thou hast taken captive with thy sword and with thy bow? <clears throat> Set bread and water before them that they may eat and drink and go to their master. And he prepared a great provision for them, and when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away, and they went to their master. So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. And it came to pass after this that Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they seized it until an ass's head was sold for fourscore pieces of silver and the forepart of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help, my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Uh, and he said, If the Lord do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, what aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son, that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son, and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give thy son, that we may eat him. And she hath hid her son. And it came to pass, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes, and he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. <clears throat> <clears throat> then he said, God, do so, and more also to me, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house 
and the elders sat with him, and the king sent a man before, from before him, but ere the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how this son of a murderer hath sent to take away mine head? Look, when the messenger cometh, shut the door, and hold him fast at the door. Is it not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came down unto him, and he said, Behold, this evil is of the Lord. What should I wait for the Lord any longer? <clears throat> Chapter 7 of 2 Kings. And y'all excuse my voice. I don't know what the heck happened to it this morning. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then a lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now therefore come, and let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Well, duh. That didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a, vo a noise in the chariots, and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us the kings of the Hittites, and the kings of the Egyptian Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even their camp as it was, and fled for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried thence silver and gold and raiment and went and hid went and hid it and came again and entered, entered into another tent and carried thence also and went and hid it then they said one to another we do not well this day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace if we tarry till the morning light some mischief will come upon us now therefore come, that we may go and tell the king's household. So they came and called unto the porter of the city, and they told them, saying, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold, there was no man there, neither voice of man, but horses tied, and asses tied, and the tents as they were. And he called the porters, and they told it to the king's house within. And the king arose in the night and said unto his servants, I will now show you 
what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we be hungry, therefore are they gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, When they come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and get into the city. And one of his servants answered and said, Let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain, which are left in the city. Behold, they are as all the multitude of Israel that are left in it. Behold, I say, they are even as all the multitude of the Israelites that were consumed. And let us send and see that they took that they therefore they took therefore two chariot horses and a king sent after the host of the Syrians saying go and see and they went after them unto Jordan and lo all the way was full of garments and vessels which the Syrians had cast away in their haste <clears throat> And the messengers returned and told the king. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. And the king appointed the Lord, on whose hand he leaned, to have the charge of the gate, and the people trod upon him in the gate, and he died, as the man of God had said, who spake when the king came down to them. And it came to pass, as the man of God had spoken to the king, saying, Two measures of barley for a shekel, and a measure of fine flour for a shekel, shall be tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. And that Lord answered the man of God and said, Now behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but they shall not eat thereof. And so it fell out unto him, for the people trod upon him in the gate, and he died. All right, that's the end of chapter 7. I thought about reading chapter 8, but it's a little bit longer, so that's it for this morning. And y'all, I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know what the heck happened to it. I talked to a neighbor earlier and my voice was fine talked to my realtor on the phone a long time and it was fine and I get on here to do my video and there it went I don't know what happened I hope y'all can understand me most of all I hope you understand what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you that's the one you need to be listening to friend I love y'all I appreciate y'all. I'm going to gargle with some lemon juice and Listerine and whatever else I can find. Uh, so some apple cider vinegar and see if I can get my voice cleared up. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Not because I'm monetized, because I'm not but because the world needs Jesus and I share Jesus. And if you subscribe to my channel and while you, when you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put new stuff up and give me thumbs up and comment on my videos so that'll bring my videos up in YouTube's algorithms and more people in the world can hear about and know about and be pointed to the way of the cross and know Jesus.
because the world needs Jesus. And I share Jesus. Love y'all.